you're still looking strong. Yeah, I'm very strong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you see? Yes. Um, look, we are, we're grateful. We're grateful that you've made the long journey to come from Johannesburg to come and see the old man. Um, we don't take this lightly as a family. It's been painful. Mm. I, uh, you know, driving here, I thought when this thing started, I was still in grade 11. Mm. Still in grade 11, 2008. And it's been a burden on all of us. Not just the old man, but everyone around him. Mm -hmm. And they say when when days are dark, men are few. Mm -hmm. So to come, for you to come here, um, show him support, it, it means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. We don't take it lightly. I'm here representing my older brother who his mother passed on this weekend. We're going to pay our respects to her tomorrow. I'm here representing my sister who's in London, um, just to, to show our gratitude. Like I said, we don't take it lightly. We draw strength from you coming here. Um, and I, I think it gives us hope that there will be brighter days. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a tough time for all of us. And I think my old man has obviously got broad shoulders. And he takes a lot on his shoulders. All of us do. It's, it's taught us to be tough. But we hope that with your support, you will make it through this period. And uh, indeed, there will be brighter days. Mm. So as a family, again, to UCIC, but to the EFF leadership, all of you who've come here, we appreciate the support. Um, you know, I was just speaking to, to, to MP Paulson and saying this, it was so tough watching the proceedings unfold the other day. Yeah. I sat there and I watched each ANC yeah, yeah, yeah. MP stand up and say yes. Mm. And every year has felt like a dagger to the heart. But we're here, we, we, we're standing on, on our feet, and we will make it through this tough period. Um, and you being here means so much to us. This is just a small token of our appreciation. Let me tell you what it is. So, if you'll allow me, the first one is a, it's a cap. Okay. Branded Samela Game Farm. Yeah. So we, we hope. As you go and you launch your manifesto, as you launch your manifesto, yeah. you will, you know, be yeah. a proud uh, uh, yeah. marketer yes. for us. Yeah. I say that in jest, of course, but yes. we appreciate that. Thank you. We appreciate you, rather. And then this, there are two bottles of honey. You've already heard about this honey. This is yeah. uh, award-winning. Uh, honey. The best right. in Africa. Mm. The best in Africa. Yes. Um, so we hope you'll enjoy it with whatever you eat it with. Mm. Um, but yeah, just take this little gift from us as a token of appreciation. Thank you. 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 Thank your support means so much to me. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to my family. It has been a long way, and uh, there we go, there we are today. But uh, of course, the way I look at it, this is just the, the beginning. Yeah. Uh, this is not the end of the road, this is just the beginning. Yeah. I'm turning 65 next birthday, which is in May. I can still work for another 15 years yeah. without anything requiring thinking of there. Yeah. I can guarantee it. So there are many other things that one can do. We can always help here and there. But your support means so much more to me. I can just say one thing to the provincial leadership. You know where to find me. Next time, if you want meat, you'll find it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you will find your meat. <laughs>
Yeah. It's me. <laughs> yeah. 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 So well, it's yeah. the it's entire ox which was yeah. Yeah. slaughtered. It was yeah. not just the leaf. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. All right. But on a serious note, thank you so much. Thank we you. say in Africa, in African language, Mundu, Mundu, Mabad. Yes. You are a human being yes. because of people around yes. you. Yes. No matter how clever you are, no matter how important you think you are, mm. but without fellow human beings, you are absolutely so today you have reinforced that saying i feel that i'm not alone i don't feel that i'm out here in the cold there are fellow african men and women beside me, totally surrounding me and uh, the fight is going to continue we just have to fight together we know the issues is about the struggle is about the return of the land that's what it's all about and that's the fight that we must carry on until africa and africans are until we get our land. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really are here to say to you, um, we can see the onslaught against you as an onslaught against black African professionals. Uh, because uh, there is nothing really concretely which someone can put on the table and say, this is a cardinal sin which a judge must never commit, and it's an impeachable sin. So um, we see this as a, a way of retaliating by those who did not like your transformative agenda here in the Western Cape. It is very unfortunate that those who put you in the deep end and gave you a mandate that you must go and turn things around and when we have done such a good work and uh, the enemies of change now turn against you, the progressive behave like they don't see. So we are here to say you're not alone uh, and this is not the end of the road. And uh, we strongly believe that you still have got a bigger role uh, to play, whether you are a judge or not. It is not those ropes that uh, you carry around you which make up your brain. They might take away the ropes, they might take away the pensions, they might take away the title. They will never take a brain of an African old man away from him. You are gifted in all respect. One of the most intelligent African brother, uh, a person who has shaped the law and the judiciary of South Africa and that history no one can do away with it no amount of vote can outvote that so we're here to say to you jp you must never doubt that you have done good for this country and we are here to celebrate you and to encourage you we are fully behind you in your personal court application the tg with your attorneys they will engage so that we see how best can we reinforce uh, this process to avoid what we saw at the SCA uh, due to withdrawal of uh, finances and us not being able to proceed in a manner we wanted to proceed. Uh, we don't have anything but we are available to ensure that where injustice is meted against one of our own we stand against that injustice and uh, we'll never rest until uh, justice prevails. Uh, the same goes to Judge Motata, who got impeached for crashing his personal car, being off duty. Um, and uh, they say a judge should not have been drunk and all, all that. But the real problem is that the judge who was drunk is an African man who went to crush a white man's wall. Had he crushed a wall in Umlazi, it would not have been an issue. But how dare does a black African man crush a wall? So when a person is drunk of duty and crushes his own car, it's a matter between that person and his own insurance. We have nothing to do with that. But today, we are told that uh, we are somehow part of the penal beaters who must give an opinion on crushed cars. 
as parliamentarians. It's unfortunate and it was really it is at that day uh, for our country. But uh, knowing you and knowing the kind of work you've done in this province, um, this is just the beginning. And uh, we'll need after elections uh, to chart the way forward. So we're just saying, please don't be discouraged, don't be demoralized. We're here and we're going to support you. Thank you, TG, for organizing all of this and all the leadership of the province and the national leadership and members of parliament. Thank you for coming with us. Kind of excuse and say you're busy with this or that, so you can't be associated with this. But you saw it befitting to come through your presence to say to your own, you are not alone. Uh, we, some of us, have gone through this type of things before. And you look on the side, there's no one. And uh, you check uh, the cell phone, you even think there is no network or it's broken, no <laughs> one is calling, no one is saying yeah. anything. And uh, we do not, we did not want the JP to feel like that. We want him when he looks on the side, when he looks at the bag in front, mm -hmm. he still finds men and women of his own people standing uh, beside him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.